Using the Tilt Shift Blur enables us to create a miniaturization effect similar to what you would get by using a Tilt Shift Lens on your camera. A Tilt Shift Lens basically enables you to create a strip of focus while everything else is blurred. So let's have a look at it right now. We're going to go under the Filter and then we're going to go under Blur and we're going to go to Tilt Shift. And when we do that, the Blur Gallery opens up. You can see it right here. And now we can do some different things. You'll notice right now that we see the strip of focus here. We can change this by dragging. We can drag it in and out to increase or decrease. As you can see there. And if you want to constrain it, hold down the shift key. It'll constrain it to, you know, 22.5 degree increments. Just makes it a little easier to keep things in line. Now, if you want to drag the whole thing, just click in, a, in here and drag out, and you can see how we can change that and just create that little narrow band of focus there. So let's start there and maybe pull this down a little bit more. There we go. So I'm getting some of the cars and the railway tracks there. Now, one of the other things we can do is um, let me hold down the shift key, make sure we got that thing completely straight. There we go. Now, we can decrease or increase the blur by dragging. So notice here we decrease it, go here, we really increase it till it goes kind of crazy. So let's take it to, I don't know, about there is looking pretty good. And then there's other things we can do too. This is the fall off, so we can make a very, very sharp fall off, or we can make a very slow fall off. And that's just the, the gradient between the sharp and the blurred. So you can play around with that and find what works best for your purposes. And notice the top and the bottom, we can do those independently. And we can also play around here with the blur and we can use a distortion. So if we look at the distortion here, notice how it changes the way it distorts the outside area. So we can make it very low or we can turn it very high. And this kind of simulates the way the lens would distort. Now we can turn on symmetrical distortion, which keeps it the same on both sides. And then finally, we get to work with the, the bokeh and the bokeh will create the little blown out areas. So if we turn the light bokeh up, see we can start to blow out some of these areas here. And something that's really cool, which you will find in real uh, tilt shift lenses, is we can increase the color here and we can add a little bit of color into these blown out areas. Now you can play around with the light range here and get different looks just by playing around with them. And you can see we can get some pretty fun and crazy ones. Maybe drop that down a little bit. And you can see this is just a, um, a kind of a simulation of what would happen on a real lens. Let me pull that color down a little bit. It's probably a little much. And then when we're ready, we just hit OK. And we can apply and we can get that effect. Now, notice that it kind of makes it look like things are being miniaturized a little bit just because of the fast fall off to the blur. And then the other thing we can do too, just to really enhance this effect, to make this look like a little toy set, is we'll create a adjustment layer here. And then we're gonna put vibrance adjustment in here. And then what we can do is we can actually pull up the vibrance a little bit and increase those colors so we're saturating them just a little bit more than normal. And by doing this, we can really enhance the effect of these looking like toys instead of the real world.